Scott, how you doing? How's it going? So this is the only vehicle she would have? Did you tell your mother-in-law that she went to a friend's this today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's what friend? But it is video just showed you yeah, backing know. out, so there's a gap there that yeah. it didn't pick up. How you guys doing? Brother? What's that? Do you remember me? Yeah. Hey man. Been How you been? Hi. You Nicole? Yes. Okay. So what's going on? So my friend, um, we were out of town for a business trip this weekend. Right. And I dropped her off at two o'clock this morning. She's 15 weeks pregnant. She wasn't feeling well, and she had a doctor's appointment this morning at nine. And I told her to let me know if she needed me to take her. She's got two little girls. And um, she was very distraught over the weekend, wasn't eating normally or drinking, and we kept trying to force it on her because she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, her husband and her supposedly are separating, but she didn't know this. She thought they were just having issues. He disclosed that to me today. Because okay. I called him and I was like, have you talked or heard from Shanann since she left for work this morning? Because I can't get a hold of her. I've called, I've texted. Her car's in the garage. Her shoes she wears every single day are by the front door. She only has one vehicle? No, they only have the one vehicle and a work truck. Okay, that's what I'm asking. There's not a. Girls and went on a play date, but they're four and two. She went on a play date. Why wouldn't she take in a car? They're both in car seats. And she had a doctor's appointment this morning at nine, and she didn't go to the doctor's appointment. Okay, no answer on the phone. Husband's on his way. Supposedly, but he said that thirty minutes ago, and I called him and said he was forty-five minutes out still. And I know the. You do? I do, but there's a thing on it. There's a, no, it'll, even Chris knows you can do it. There's a, they have the thing flipped up here. Oh, what about the garage door? I don't know. Is there? there. Um, do you mind calling him and um, seeing if we can get a passcode to this and get my permit, give him, get me permission to go in? Okay. I'm just going to check the back, see if I can see anything. Right. I just want to look in all the windows, make sure I don't see anything out of. Do they? Oh, it doesn't? unless you see signs of... Yep, I, I've got to have more unless I get consent from him to go in. Um, because it could be grandparents came and picked him up, you know, it could be a lot of things. She left her phone, her phone's dead. And it doesn't change anything even if they are pregnant? No, I mean... It's different rules, but they're all about the yeah, same. Yeah, you, you've got your fourth minute rights to the house. Um, I can't violate that. Yep. Told her, told her. That's why. I, like, no, like, no, 
No. Not, I mean, if I saw her laying on the ground, something like that. You saw signs of a fight or anything. Kids were, I could get a hold of the kids. No, mom's not answering. Can't do much. I, I've got, I got nothing right now, though. How you doing? You seen your neighbors today? No? Okay. Oh, we're just trying to get a hold of her. Felt like she wasn't feeling too good and pregnant and they were just concerned. No, I know he, he works in the oil field, so he's on certain days and off You didn't see her today, though, any outside or anything? Okay. That's not anything wrong. Right. Oh, is she? Well, I can't go in, but if they allow you to go in, I have to have the property owner's permission to enter. Something's going on. Okay. Well, he's the property owner. Well, they called me. Shannon was at her girlfriend's house. Do we know who that is? Do we know who? Her phone number? He didn't say. When did he tell you that? He needs to protect his money. I don't get it. He told me that Shanann didn't take the girls to school this morning because she was going to go on a play date, but her car's here. And then he told Abby that Shanann left the game. What? I'm talking about the garage. 
sure. What's Chris's phone number? It's they have the top lock, the one that they have on there, so CC can't escape. Chris's phone number is nine one zero three zero nine one seven zero two. Okay, it was Chris, hey, correct? On, yeah. Okay. Hey Chris, Officer Coonrod for the police department. Pretty good. So, do you have any idea where your wife is? Okay. Right. What well, my concern is her car's here. They're saying she is diabetic. I don't want her if she's upstairs and can't respond. Okay. About how far out are you? Okay. All right. Thanks. Dispatch Rick 981. He states medical. This female is diabetic. Unknown if she is home though. Husband is on his way. He said like five minutes. So he's about here. He's told us four to five minutes two times in a row. He told one of our one of my mom's friends that he was on I-45 to so the interstate pretty much. Mm -hmm. And he and we waited the time we were told that mom called again. He said he was still on it and to wait another 45 minutes. So he's just been giving us false times and everything. And we know he's been lying because his stories aren't adding up. Right. He can tell everybody different stories. And do we have, like, her parents' phone numbers or anything she's we can call them to make sure? She's not close to them. Oh, she's not? Not that. No, okay. she, she, I mean, she, she still talks to them and everything, but they don't know any of the codes of the house or anything. Well, I was just thinking maybe they were watching the kids or they were, she was visiting them or... The they don't? Okay. There's not people that are in Wisconsin or something around those lines. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see anything out of place. I'm not hearing kids. I'm not hearing anything. Yeah, and all of her stuff is here, and I set off the alarm by trying to open the garage forcefully, and that didn't work. So, and their alarm's one of the ones where it goes off, and it feels like it's making your ears bleed. Mm -hmm. So, if she was in there. She should have heard it. She, yeah, she would have while she was sleeping, because they have little things on the wall on every room to go off. What's I'm Shannon's number? Um, it's 910 uh, Sorry. That's kind of weird. And the
phone ring or anything. Yeah, man. Um, the neighbor has a, a camera system, mm -hmm. and he um, he said because um, we have one story. She's out. She's with a friend right now, and then there's another story. She's on a play date with her kids with another friend, and then she left in the middle of the night. So he told us three different stories. So he the neighbor over there said he has cam he has a camera that they that sees out on the street. So sorry. Um, he, uh, we asked him if he could see if he was able to see if she ever left the house. Right, I don't want to. got someone else's car. Shannon! Are you home? Police department, if anyone's inside, make yourself known. Police department, if anyone's inside, make yourself known. Yeah, you'd think they were here, the kids or someone would respond, though. You'd hear some kind of noise. When did you talk to her last night? How are you doing? I'm here. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, get me on the phone. Okay, get me out. Scott, how you doing? How's it going? So this is the only vehicle she would have? Only one that, yeah. She would drive? Okay. throughout the whole day or besides Chris leaving? Well yeah. What about the can there's no way you can look for the day? During the daytime? Yeah, if you don't mind. Okay. Huh? Chris is in the house. We're standing outside of the house. Can we go in the house? We can. I mean, that's up to him. It's his house. It's because... Nikki, I'm giving you permission to walk in my daughter's house. Matter if I come in, Chris? You checked upstairs. She's not there. No. I just want to make sure she's not passed out somewhere. She, is she diabetic? Uh, she you mind if I look around? Go ahead. Okay, thanks. Are we here? 
fine. Good one. I'm checking the house, looking to. Oh. Well, shoot. Um, any friends she, do you know she would be hanging out with? I mean, I know, I guess her, her, Amanda, her parents are uh, out of state. Across, across country, North Carolina. Oh. Yeah, so that's not happening. She can play with her school. All the girls' blankies are gone. Um. Their blankies they sleep with, they don't leave anywhere without them. Good. Nothing else appears to be missing, though. Just no, stuff you'd take for a quick trip. Does she work? Yeah, she works from home. home. Oh, from home? She works, this is her lifeline. So yeah, that thing turns back on, it's going to start blowing up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trust me. And it was shut down? She's in the fire. Yeah. Well, it was originally under the propeller on the couch. Do you know her passcode? Um, I don't know her passcode. It used to be 2285, but now it's six digits. It's the baby's due date. Uh, 131819. Wait. Wait, What does she do for work? She works a uh, direct sales company called Drive. What? How often does her blood sugar drop low? I see her friend in Arizona said that it, that's the first time it's ever happened. She normally has migraines, like 
a little while ago, but she's been hot. She had them a lot this weekend. Yeah. So Cassie's a nurse, so she figured it was because her blood pressure, blood pressure sugar was dropping. Yeah. Because she wasn't eating her normal that she normally eats. Like she takes a couple bites and says she was full. Okay. And, uh, she, she, she doesn't ever black out or have no, seizures or anything like no, that. No, I mean, long, 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 long time ago. It ha she, had, she had a car wreck, and that, I believe that's what happened. But Imatrex is something she takes for a migraine. She she took more Imatrex this last month than she ever had before, but that's just because she was in North Carolina with the humidity mm -hmm. and everything like that. She was there for six weeks, and we got back Monday or Tuesday, and then she flew out to Arizona Friday Friday morning, and then she got back last night about 2 a.m. The flight got delayed. She left about 11. She got here at 2. Okay. And I went to work this morning about... 5.15, What do you do? I work at oil, oil and gas in a darker. What do you do for them? Operator. Oh. Long days then? Yeah, I, I, I definitely still be out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a long day, especially in that heat. Every, uh, there's no way like, Text messages and listen. Can you look at your camera to see from your security system to see when she left? It's us who left out the front door. Because you, you told me that she went on a play date with the girls. And then That's what she told me. You, Addie said you told her that she yeah, she went with some friends with, she left, she went to go to a friend's house with the kids. Well, That's why I knew they weren't at school. Addie said you told her that she left in the middle of the night. Oh no, she didn't leave in the middle of the night, no. <laughs> yeah. She didn't want to leave the night. Where do you get to go to school at? Primrose in Vista Ridge. Okay. Hey. Yeah. No. Yeah, she said she was at a friend's house. That's what she told me she was going to do. Nicholas. I have no clue at whatsoever why she wouldn't take her cell phone. No, I, I doesn't make any sense at all. So I think she doesn't leave out the front door and she's you. Well, it, it, yeah, I can look at that and see. But it's so random because it goes off and on here, and late, here lately. It gets false trips because it told me it was open when I got here. I know it doesn't make any sense at all. I'm not a lost boy. I don't know. I don't know where she's at. Where the kids are at. Yeah. Only people that are out of state that she would contact would be in Arizona, be casting Josh, and they're going to be out there. Your neighbor's camera? Your neighbor? Yes, camera. She said that the only people that left the house were you and the mommy and then whoever showed up. That's all you have to say. I'll see if I can get on that USA app or chase that. See if I can get on that. I'll see. I will. I will. All right. Thank you. Hello. Dispatch for 91. You can cancel medical if they're staged.
Do we, what time do you work? Usually, I, when I, once I get to work, it's like 6.30 to 3.30, 4 o'clock. You usually work nights or days? Days. What time do you leave the day? What time do I leave there? Come no, here. here. Uh, usually between 5.30 and 6.00. Right. And was Shannon here then? Yes. Yeah, we should still in bed. Does she usually watch the kids, or do you have daycare watch no, them? No, she, she usually watches the kids if they're not at school. Okay. Thing right here. There's a pool right down there. Yeah. I mean, I've been here for like off and on for three hours here. You're not going to go. All right, I can run down there and check. Why don't you get it? Don't you guys have any kind of issues, marital issues, or? We're going through separation. You are? You guys filed yet or anything, or just talking about? No, we're gonna. I won't. We're gonna sell the house and do a separation. Now how's that going? I. Mean, it's, it's going civil it's, for the most civil, part, or. Yeah. <laughs> Does your wife go to that swim that swim pool often, or? Um, it just depends. I mean, on a hot day like this, I would say no. It says at 5.27 a.m. the overhead garage door or two was left open and never shut. About that time. So either like when I pulled away and shut the door, it never shut. It was shut when you got here. Yeah. So either the sensor was tripping out, which has happened before, if I had to replace it two weeks ago. Before I left. Basement door was left open at 526. Visitor checked at 148, that's when she got home. And then the visitor checked at 1210, that was when she came. Were you able to pull up the video at the 1210? See, so was, was it front no, door? Or? That, was Nikki. that was you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it was peeping at me at the out the field.
Does she do her work from a laptop or is it just from, from just from the phone? Not a joint account. It's a joint account, but like she controls all of it. Like she doesn't let me do the finances because she, I, I was pretty horrible back in the day. So she just kind of handles all that and she does it. And I have the apps on my phone, but I don't have her login to get into it. Okay. Unfortunately, that's. Can you log into your account though? I can. No, I don't have like a. You don't have a laptop, but she has the one down there. So, but her login is different. Her login, I don't know her login. Like I know the password, but I don't know her login. It's always the same password for the one I want five capital S W. But it's just a matter of getting the, the login. Right, if she's getting gas or yeah, somewhere. What days does she typically do work? All every day. Every day. Yeah, always. What, what was the name of the company again? Uh, Lavelle. L E V E L. Where are they based out of? Texas. But they don't have like a. Yeah, they don't have like an office. It's just. All does she have someone that she reports to though? Uh, she has her leaders, but they're both in the northeast part of the country. Like that. She has Addie Maloney. She has Amanda Aikman. She has uh, Sam Paisley. Okay. What, do you have her phone number? Addie? Yeah. yeah. What did you say her last name was? And there was no note or anything by the wedding ring? Is there any of her clothes, anything like that missing? It didn't look like she went through and packed up no, I a mean, bag or anything. No, I mean, this and all that in the bottom, so it'd be kind of hard to tell if she took a little bit or, I mean, it'd be easy to tell if she took a lot, but it's hard to tell if she took a little bit or not. Okay. Did she tell you anything about leaving, moving out? Not moving out. I mean, the last time I talked to her was this morning. She said she was going to take the kids to a friend's house, and she asked where she was going to be. And then I've texted her today and never heard anything, but the car's not cars here, cars right. are here, unless somebody came and picked her up, but the people that I know, nobody's heard from her, nobody's seen her. Right. Who do, who do you guys bank with? Chase and USA. Definitely an odd one. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what I can do right now. So I drive around in like the normal route that she would be. Where does she normally go to? I mean just like drive where like she would normally take the kids to school. Um, people that I know that live down I mean, people that live Kristen lives down that way. I mean that's the only people only routes I can know she would really take. She go to their house frequently or and not much, but <laughs> Hey. What's 
still talk to the officer right now. Okay, bye. I will, definitely. Bye bye. Sorry about that. Help them all. I mean, you think it's smart just go just drive around and see if I, I mean. Yeah, probably not, because, I mean, you don't know what car she's in, where she's at. I mean, obviously, you're not going to see her cards fair. here. Amanda's out of town because her brother died. Yeah. She's not flying back till the day. And the other one, she's really close with that I know is Sarah. Who else do you think I could do? Yeah. Just wait for her here? Up there. Well, I, I've got my detective coming. Okay. Just because this is kind of an odd situation. Um, she would try to get her pinpointed down, find a friend or something. Okay. He may have you call the bank. Okay. Um, hey, sir, here's Chris Watts. Not too bad. Have you heard from Shane today? No, I have not. I was just, you're my last uh, person to call. <laughs> so I just, I'm just, <laughs> all right. I don't want to make you nervous or anything, but I'll just, I'll, I'll keep you close. Sure. No. Okay. okay, thank you. Bye. Okay. She lives around here. She lives in Aurora. Aurora. You okay? Yeah. I don't want to show answer. Yes. Smelly. Did you go party? Can you do that for Yeah. Alright. Sure. How long have you been in Oilfield? Since 2015. Well, Anarcho 2015, January. Covenant, year before that. After that, I worked on cars for 11 years. You liking it? I love the fact that I don't have to get carpal tunnel on my wrist. That's what I that's what I left it for, left car business for. Right. Because it was just destroying my body. The old field is less repetitive as far as the same stuff over and over, just doing that all the time. Right. It's a lot of lifting, but other than that, it's perfect for what I do. It gives me time with the kids. Like I, I used to be on it eight days on six days off. But now I'm on five and two, so I'll go back to eight and six next month. So I'll be getting a lot more time with the kids. That's what I'm excited about. Right. Give her a break. Do you have any medical conditions other than lupus? lupus? Fibromyalgia, rosacea. She thought she had RA, but she took a lot of medication in North Carolina. She stopped a bunch of it when she moved here. But she has some flare ups here and there. When did she move here? When she moved here in 2012. Okay. No, like recent, is she taking any kind of medication? Uh, Imatrex for migraines and some. Monte two class for like allergies and stuff like that. Okay. And some stuff for nausea. No, medi nothing changed as far as medication wise. No, not, not that I know of. Not that she said. Any kind of behavioral changes, anything like that recently? She's going through a separation. That's, that's the only behavioral changes I've seen. Just more, more emotional. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Tell him I'll be there in just a minute.
That's what I was out so far. Is this on con continually yep. recording? Yep. Well, it's not. Is it motion, motion or is it? Event. Okay, so it's motion. Any motion event that happens, I got. But I get cars driving from this street, from this street. And this is him at 517. <laughs> Um, my detective just showed up, um, so he'll probably want to talk to you. He'd probably, like I said, he might have you call at the bank and see if there's any kind of activity. Because um, if there is any sort of action out there, his camera is I would have got it. Like right. had, I had, we had issues the other other week when people were coming, were stealing stuff out of like garages and stuff like that. And I have parked my truck. I have your park right here. Yeah. So you someone, see if I can see where someone tried to jimmy with a flathead screwdriver over there, and it was just like. But if any action would have happened, any cars or anything left yeah. your house, I yeah, would have been like right in that area. They should have picked. I mean, oh, like, it'll pick up anything coming down the street this way. You know that trigger Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Watch, I'll show you. There's nothing on here. We've already watched that one. But like, you'll see this car. What security system do you have? You can see this car starting to drive down the street. That ain't one. Oh, what? See what I'm saying? It picks up all the way down there. That's cool. He's next door. Can we go? I was talking about dispatcher. Yeah, be close for. Yeah, we can pick up cars coming this way. I get anything coming this way and make it this turn. So, and usually at night I pick up the car pulling a year turn. So unless they pulled right here, yeah. but I would have caught her walking out. Diesel. You're good. But yeah, I thought nothing. Nothing for the rest of the day. No, that's it. She's pregnant as well. How far along? 14, 15 weeks. That's why her friend said it was low blood sugar. And see, I've got her friend leaving out here at you know, two in the morning, I think. So, uh, my camera. She dropped her off at one in the morning, right? Uh, she's, that my doorbell said 148, she came in.
This is for friendly me at 148. So as soon as it picks up motion, it like fail. Okay. I thought you. That was the start of the video. Yep. Stop at 148 in the morning. It didn't pick her up going into the house, though. It didn't. And I usually pick him up when he comes walking through here. Mm -hmm. I pick him up. So it doesn't show her walking into the house. Or she would have walked by when we just saw him. They see all these people coming in, they're like, what is going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long does it typically record for? 30 seconds, I believe, at a time. But this is at 148, and then the next one I have is at yeah. 5, whatever. So nothing, yes. no cars came through, because I guarantee, with the headlights, it picks up the headlights oh, yeah. automatically. And my vivid said that at 527, my garage door was left open. But that could have been a sensor as well. It says it was shut during the day. But I think when Nikki's uh, son, he may have tried to move the, the, the door around, maybe when they were trying to get in the door, in the garage right. door, and it probably broke the, the laser there. That's because this, my alarm started going off. Well, I know he said the front door he tried going in, but he had the lock yeah, up. That's, that's for so the that kids, set so it off. Out. Right. And our remote on the outside doesn't work anymore. It got wet. And the whole radio on the back. So, yeah, that was it. Okay. All right. Appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Hopefully something comes up here. Yeah. Yeah. Matter if I, you just want to go talk to him, I'm going to get his info real quick. Are you able to record this? Uh-huh. I'd have to call Comcast so I can get him to do whatever. But watch just see him get out. And he walks back and forth a couple times. To be completely honest with you, my wife and I were kind of wondering when she was on vacation if something happened, because I've heard them pull out screaming at each other at the top of their lungs and he gets crazy. Does he? Um, and that's pretty recently? Yeah. I'm guessing that's why she went and visited people is because she wanted to get away from the situation. Give your ID handy.
Any other neighbors have cameras around here, you know? Um, I'm sure a bunch of them do, but not that I know of. Okay. Hey, I'll look at it. I'll, yeah. I'll do a search here in a minute. I just, all these ports kept coming up missing, so we moved in here. I put this in. And like you said, someone was breaking into it. He said that someone was breaking into his toolbox of his truck. So I told him he could park his truck out there in case they saw something. Diesel, I know you want to go play with the baby so bad. <laughs> Her mom was texting me that people were going to work. have a GPS tracker on the truck that the delivery goes. Okay. Just a plan. Don't you think it's, look at the. I know. I'm trying odd. to stop. No, I'm just saying it's kind of odd that he pulls his truck back behind my camera. Cut off. The, the truck's in the garage right now. Yeah. And he never backs his truck into the driveway. That's what her friend Christina was doing. Diesel. She's like, he never backs his truck up. Her mom said it too. She's like, he carries his stuff out in the house. Yep. He doesn't back his truck up. Well, I have him on camera doing that when he does it. Because when he was parking his truck over here, the other thing was odd is why she was gone. He kept parking his truck and her car over here. And I used to see him walk. Out of this house he parked, right here. He took the car out of the garage? Oh, the car was parked over there for a long time. Like a couple of days. This was past weekend? Uh, no. It was when she was gone for six weeks. Oh. But I thought it was kind of odd that he never parked in front of here or right here. He said someone broke into his truck and he parked over Why there. Why would he I have no idea. Hey, he acted so suspicious. He's normally, you can ask them, he's normally quiet, real subdued. He's over here telling them, telling you three times what he took out, what he did, what he did, what yeah, he did. He's very, he's very, he never talks. So the fact that he's over here blabbing his mouth makes me kind of suspicious. Huh? Yeah, but, it, I mean, you put yourself in his situation. Oh, I agree. You know, anyone's going to be nervous, so you don't know what to do. Um, no, I agree, but I'm just saying the way he, told you three times what he brought with him? Why is he telling you exactly what he brought with him instead of saying, well, they didn't see anybody out here, he didn't see anybody doing anything? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why is he so worried about you knowing what he's carrying out? That's all I'm saying. The detective's talking. What's that? The detective's talking. He's talking to him right now? Okay. Yeah. 
What's this door right here go to? It's locked. Do you have a key for it? Yeah. Yeah, they, they wake up and they'll just go right here and just play in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's bright. So you normally, yeah, no, so you normally keep it locked? Yeah, because yeah. they, yeah. yeah. They would go in there, they'd be in the yeah. soap. Like last time we had Vaseline everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So that was not fun. Yeah, I don't blame you. So does she normally make the beds, the kids' beds? No. Not normally. Okay. This all looks normal to you. Does it look like this? Maybe in a rush or this is about normal. Mm -hmm. I think it's they'll get up first. Get up, yeah. yeah, and they'll just like to go around. Sure, just go get her. Sure. Okay. All right. I don't, we don't wake up till they wake up. Yeah, he said he did. We're going to try. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Bye. Did you tell your mother-in-law that she went to a friend's this today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's what friend? Who was she supposed to go to? That's all she, that's all she told me. She said she was going to her friend's house to take the kids. When did she tell you that? This morning, when we were talking to her about 4 and 5 o'clock. The stuff she had last night. Yep. Yeah. This is what this this is. Oh, uh, that's just some kind of darker stuff. Is that your stuff? Yeah, that's the stuff I was going to give to some people because they don't fit me anymore. Oh, these are your jeans? Yeah. It's like 38s. They're way too big now. Okay. Well. Give us a call with anybody if you hear anything from her. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to start putting together a, just in case we need to pull the trigger for a missing person. Yeah, we're, I'm going to try to run some things down using her phone and then see if we can't find somebody. Um, if nobody's heard anything at all, then uh, we'll probably pull the trigger a little bit quicker and go that route. So. 
I mean, you can do that now. You know, there's no reason. I mean, I, as far as like walking through fields and stuff like that, I don't no, know. No, I mean, like, hospitals. You can do that now. You, if you guys want to start that, there's no reason to, you can do that right now. Okay. Um, absolutely. So, um, but the other things I'm going to do is, is you know, a little more uh, detailed as far as digging into friends and, okay. and addresses and things like that. But by all means, yeah, if you want to call hospitals and you know, hotels even, so she's checked in anywhere, whatever, but, all right, I'll start with the, the friends list of maybe friends you either one of you know about, so. Or I called everybody that yeah. I didn't know that she could call she and talk to. Okay. All right. And she has one of those numbers, because, yeah, I've got some of these, so. Okay. Want to talk before we go? What about bank account checking into that? Do we need account numbers or anything, or have him call? Yeah, find a yeah, any credit card. Like, that's why I was asking about the credit cards if there are any missing. But none of your yours are missing either. Cash? She she usually carry cash with her or no? Cash I never answered. Still in there. Okay. Because I paid her for the hotel. She's been on the flight and I paid her for the hotel. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll get your numbers. So we'll be in touch. If you want us to be in touch, I'll be able to put things like this. We've got it. There's some things we have to do before we go just flat out with some person. Yeah. Is it good or bad that you know my son? I just have to ask. <laughs> I know everyone. He knows a lot. Comes with the job. Yeah. <laughs> good or bad? No, we have that. Well, good or bad, I get to contact everyone eventually. Okay. So if it does go missing person, would you like to set up like a commence? Or I'm not sure like how that works. No, no, actually it's it's really not not that. Okay, I didn't yeah, it's really not like that. It would have been in the computer system, so when she pops up somewhere, and then on top, everybody looking around, asking around. Okay. So really what it is we're going to go back and do now will be part of that process, the missing uh -huh. person's process. Just because we want to find out where she has the, you know, the kid was involved. Yeah. Too. Um, so they definitely want to you know, run that part. Is this a pretty current picture? No. No? I've got one. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. and her Facebook is full. So. Okay. Um, so that's where we start, and then the flex said that we do. We're still calling around by all means. Possibly. I mean, it yeah. didn't pick her up going in from when you dropped her off. But those, I, I did wait. I know she made it in the house because I waited until she shut the front door. Right. But his video just showed you yeah, backing know. out, so there's a gap there that yeah. it didn't pick up. Do these neighbors have cameras? Uh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to walk it here in a minute. And... I'm pretty sure he doesn't. But it wouldn't surprise me if the people in that store did. Right. Yeah, I don't see any on that one or that one just yeah, looking, but. Yeah. <laughs> Works a little better than a camera. If he was out here right now, you'd know. Yeah. <laughs> Barney gets a little crazy when he sees people he doesn't know. He's knocked out the fence posts, yeah. or the pickets. Yeah. Because he runs and hits the fence. He's knocked the pickets down. Oh. Her mom warned me when we first moved in. Her mom Hello? was like, that dog's so mean. Yeah. Did she, did she walk I don't know. the driveway or did she walk through the driveway? She walked through the, right here, because I pulled her. Do yeah, you want to talk to the police officer? This is her mother. Hello? Hi, this is Shannon's mother. Hey, how are you? Right. 
Right. Right. What is your name? Sandra. Can you spell your last name for me? What is your date of birth, Sandra? What's your phone number? So how would you describe their relationship recently? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sandy's calling you. I'm going to keep speeping. That's probably just a tech message. Oh. Right. 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 That's kind of the impression everyone's telling me. Uh, we're not finding our purse. Yeah, I've already looked back there. Right. Not yet. We're just trying to figure out if she's missing at this point. Um, and right. Mm -hmm. That started today. What school is that? Primrose. What town is that in?
Okay. No, that was that was this morning at like five thirty. Okay. All right. Yeah, as soon as we figure something out, um, we will let you know. Right.